Yeah, this is Garvey Allen, and you're watching AEW Insider. What's up, peeps? We're back. As always, I'm your host, Lee Benson. Thank you so much for joining us for our YouTube edition of the AEW Insider. It has happened. Last night, which was Saturday night, we finally hit 300 subs. It took a little bit for those final two subs, but we got them, peeps. So at the end of this video, I will have the drawing for the giveaway. Winner has been chosen. You have to November 1st to get in touch with me. Blah, blah, blah. We'll go over that again later. Remember, now that we hit 300 subs, our next giveaway is at 500 subs, and I will announce what it is at the end of the video. Anyway, let's get to the show. We'll start with some WWE news. WWE. A lot of people were watching and happy that Liv Morgan won her fatal four-way match on SmackDown and that helped her get on Team SmackDown for Survivor Series. Uh, one of those people at home watching were her ex-Riot Squad member, Sarah Logan. Logan now goes by the name Sarah Rowe because she's married to Eric Rowe of the Viking Raiders. Anyway, Sarah tweeted, it makes my heart happy. And that's what she said after Liv Morgan got her big win. And that's got to be tough for her watching from home and seeing her girls do so good. But you got to show some love to your people regardless. Now, Sasha Banks, like a bunch of us, wonder why WWE never held an Evolution 2, a.k.a. an all-women's pay-per-view. She was doing an interview with Digital Spy and was asked about it. And this is what Banks had to say. Evolution is something I absolutely want to happen again. It's just something that I think was so incredible for the women and for the fans that I don't understand why there hasn't been a second one yet. But it definitely can happen in the future, and whenever it does happen, I think it will be better than the first. Now, even though he is on Raw and they just had a draft a few weeks ago, Drew McIntyre showed up for Roman Reigns on SmackDown. Since then, they've been going back and forth on Twitter. Drew tweeted to Roman, Forging a legacy for myself. No family to open doors for me. First I beat Randy and reclaim my WWE title. Then I'm coming for you, Roman. Which Roman replied by tweet saying, The whole family opening the doors? That thing is so played out and it's just an unoriginal excuse. Free lesson for you, Drew. It's not about getting in the door. It's about owning the room, which you will never do while I'm around. Good luck on Monday at Raw. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty deep, and he is being legit. Everybody says, you know, Roma got in there because of the rock. A lot of his family did, but honestly, most of them besides Nia Jax proved it on their own. And that was a tough burn, man. It doesn't matter about opening the door. You got to keep those asses in the seats. And that big dog saying, you ain't doing that while I'm around, bitch. Now on the Impact Wrestling. Well, Impact Wrestling had turning point. It was last night, Saturday night, and overall it was a solid pay-per-view. Impact does switch titles like people change their clothes, though, at times. So here's the full results and the card of the pay-per-view. We did have Eddie Edwards versus Davari. That was a really, really good match, and Davari has been kicking ass since returning to Impact, and that dude is fucking jacked. But in the end, Eddie Edwards pulled out the win. We also had Jordan Grace and Tennille Dashwood versus Rosemary and Taya Valkyrie. In the end, it was Rosemary and Taya. And if you ask me, I think those two are going to be the ones who win the first ever tag title female knockout belt. I think they're going to take the tournament. We also have Brian Myers versus Swoggle, a.k.a. Horn Swoggle. Now, that was a pretty good match, man. I watched it, then I rewatched some clips of it, whatever. Little Hornswoggle still got some moves, and Myers was selling for him big time. It was a pretty good match. And in the end, Myers won. We also had Chris Sabin and James Storm versus Team Triple XL. Of course, Storm and Sabin took that win, and they were talking smack on Twitter afterward. We also had the X Division Championship. It was the Defeat Rohit Challenge. It was Rohit Rahu versus Cousin Jake. That was a good match, too. Cousin Jake definitely had a good showing, but it wasn't enough to take that belt off of Rohit. So he still is your X Division Champion. We also had the TNA World Championship matchup for grabs. It was Moose 
versus Willie Mack. Now, I'm a big, big Willie Mack mark. I think it's amazing what that dude could do with his age and his body for the shape he is and how old he is. Like, that dude could do crazy shit like a cruiserweight can. Moose has been fucking vicious this last run in um, Impact Wrestling. He hasn't been playing around. But at the end, Moose connected with an elbow. Willie Mack fell down. He never got up. And a referee called the match. So I would say that Moose won. We don't know, but I hope it was a work and that Willie Mack is all right. But that was a good match also. So we also had the Impact World Tag Team Championship belt up for grabs. It was the North versus the Good Brothers. Now, the North held those belts for a long time. Mortar City Machine Guns came back and took those shits. The North took them back from them just a couple weeks ago. But the Good Brothers just took them off the North. So the Good Brothers are your new Impact World Tag Team Championships. Those tag belts are switching waist like crazy. We also had a no DQ Impact Knockouts Championship match, which was the new champion Sue Young versus ex champion Deanna Perrazzo. In the end, Deanna Perrazzo did win her belt back, and she is now, after being cut from NXT and WWE, a two time Impact Knockout Women's Champion. And finally, we did have the Impact World Championship matchup for grabs, which was Rich Swan versus one of my favorites, Sammy Callahan. This match was brutal. They beat the shit out of each other. Rich Swan is doing amazing after career-ending injuries that he recovered from, but in the end, he did keep the belt, which is bullshit. Sammy Callahan is definitely the face of that company. He worked for it. He put it over. He should be their champion 24-7, if you ask me. But unfortunately, it was Rich Swan. Now, on to our random wrestling and sporting news story. Now, we have not seen AJ Lee in a wrestling ring in eons. She left wrestling and moved away with her hubby, CM Punk, and became a writer. Well, her first release is out. She actually wrote a Dungeons & Dragons comic book, and it's called Spine of the World. It just released this week, and she was extremely happy. She posted pics of herself at a local comic shop, picking up multiple copies. You go, girl. Congrats. All right, peeps. It's that time. Last night, we finally hit 300 subs. So thank you very, very, very much for the support. When I started this channel, I never even thought I'd get three subs, never mind 300. So this is our giveaway for the Elite Fiend action figure. Whoever wins, you will have two weeks. Well, actually, you'll have till November 1st. You have till November 1st to message me or get in touch with me, and I will send it out to you free shipping, no problem. So it's a nice prize. Once we hit 500 subs, we will have another giveaway, and I will be announcing that at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for the entire thing. All right, last man or woman on the wheel standing does get the Elite Fiend action figure. And here we go. Uh, Peter Roach or Peter Roche, sorry about that, bro. Thank you very much for the support. Oof. Ernest Wilson, that was a close one, brother. Better luck next time. Oh, right on the line. Paul almost bit the bullet, but Hamza did instead. All right, you nicknamed, but you didn't win. I'm sorry, brother. Better luck next time. Robert Heffinger, thank you very much for playing, bro. Oh, close, bro. Thank you very much for playing. King Swole, we're down to the final three, which is Pest, The Shape, and Flux. And this camera sucks. It keeps going in and out when the wheel spins, but you guys can see. Let's go. Ah, so close, bro. All right, it's the final two. It's between The Shape and Flux. Let's do it. Oh, sorry, bro. Tough break. So the winner of the WWE Elite Fiend action figure is none other than The Shape, which is cool because it better be named after Michael Myers.
But anyway, best of luck. Get in touch with me. You can email me at the AEW Insider. You can message me in our group in Facebook under the AEW Insider. You can hit me up on Twitter under the AEW Insider 1. Or you can leave a comment down in the bottom of this YouTube video. So the shape you do have until November 1st. 2020, which is a little over two weeks to claim your WWE Elite Fiend action figure. Just get in touch with me, and I'll send it right out. I want to thank you all for playing. I want to thank you all for the support. And stick around to the end of the video so you can see what you can win once we hit 500 subs. And I think it's really, really nice. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, peeps, that's it for this episode. Congratulations to our winner, The Shape. Remember, you have until November 1st to hit me up at either the AEW Insider on Facebook or in these comments on our YouTube, or you can message me at the AEW Insider 1 as the number one so I can get your address and ship you out your WWE Elite Fiend action figure. Now, remember, when we do hit 500 subs, our next giveaway is awesome. It's actually a ringside collectibles exclusive, so there are only so many made, and it is a Bray Wyatt Firefly Funhouse figure. It comes with the puppets, Ramblin' Rabbit, the fake Vince McMahon, almost all of them. It comes with cool accessories, all that. This thing is badass, it's very limited, and if you hold on to it, in a couple years, it's going to be worth some dough. So once we hit 500 subs, I will be doing another drawing for a WWE Bray Wyatt Ringside Collectibles exclusive Firefly Funhouse action figure. And we'll make it easier this way. We need to get our YouTube up. So from now, from 300 subs to 500 subs, if you want to be entered in our next giveaway, pick any YouTube video, like, share, and comment. That's why there weren't so many people in the drawing this time because everybody didn't do those things. If you don't comment, I, you can't get in. So if you like, you share, it doesn't matter unless you do them all. So you have to be a subscriber to our channel. Pick any video, like, share, and comment. Boom, it's that easy. And when we hit 500 subs, we will have our next drawing for this awesome Ringside Collectibles exclusive Bray Wyatt Firefly Funhouse action figure. Try to say that fast five times. All right, peeps, remember to show us some love on all major podcasting platforms, also on Facebook and YouTube under the AEW Insider, and on Twitter under the AEW Insider 1, as in the number one. As always, I'm your host, Lee Benson. Thank you so much for joining us at the AEW Insider. Ciao, peeps. Ciao, peeps.